Welcome back to the Black Frog. So I did look for a clue. You can work out opening both doors into your own base. Um, I got a clue. Coming, maybe. Yeah, there's definitely a guard coming this way. So, apparently, I missed a hidden switch in Emily's apartment. Oh no. So I heard footsteps going away, but they were just changing volume. Oh, that's. Green shirt comes in here too? Or oh, your green shirt, grey pants. What? Can't get me up here, can you? Of course, I can't get down either. Is it, is it time for me to... To steal or what? I'm not sure why he keeps turning around in a circle, it's very strange. Oh, he's lost sight of me. I guess the turning around in a circle was beneficial for me. Wait, which door did I, am I in? Which place am I in now? Well, that's the garden. So I must be in this room. Okay, that's fine. It's not where I thought I'd been. Okay, so we do want to we do want to go out that door. Okay, that was the way I wanted to go. It was just very bad timing. Well, welcome back to Garrett sitting around like a black frog, crouched on top of a uh, furniture. While the dog, the black dog, snuffles around outside. Okay. Does it sound like things have calmed down a little. There's still plenty of footsteps in the corridor, but. So I do need to get back to the Emily's apartment, which is over there. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Um, I think upstairs is the more likely place to look for a switch. I knew I should have been hunting for uh, switches. You know, I never, never assume there's a room without a secret in it, right? Ah, oh, that's actually not super hidden. 
Just look at it from the right angle. Mirror room key. Okay. But yeah, I had no. I mean, okay. Uh, where's where's so this? No, it wasn't that. That was this note. No, that's written too well. Let's check the one downstairs. One of these notes apparently made a comment. I moved the mirror room key to a safe place here in my apartment. Okay, I just forgot that. And I misremember, misremembered that I'm, I'm, the way I read it was, the way I remembered it, wrongly, was that I moved the black frog to a safe place here in my apartment and then said, oh, we've mirror room key, okay, this is the place. But yeah, I should have probably just reread things. Well, it's a critical clue that I can't pick up and put in my inventory. That's unfortunate. All right. Good news is we have a way forward now. I suppose... Oh, this is the first of the door. Oh, the door was unlocked already. I suppose we'll come again here, we'll find... That window that we were peeking in. Gonna go slowly on this noisy floor, because I don't know what we're gonna run into. Well, maybe nothing. So this isn't the underground room where we saw them. Well, that's weird. I wonder where that is then. That wasn't the tunnels, was it? Because it was the wrong side of the house. How many secret underground rooms does this man have? Well... Is this the real black frog? Are we done? Can we just take it? I guess that means no. <laughs> we appear to be somewhere new. I can't use it again. That door isn't going to open. And this door's gonna open without me doing anything. Oh. There's blood on the floor here. I hear footsteps on metal. Let's be quiet. Garrett, you're in my world. Or in yours. It's all about perspective. You are so easily manipulated that I'm almost disappointed. You have thrown yourself into this obvious trap without hesitation. Touching this mirror, this fake glyph, hoping to get what you came for, did it not seem too easy? I am the only guardian of the glyph. I alone have a hold on it. I alone can control it. It is my reason for being. Did it not occur to you that I would have protected it better? Stupid thief. Upon your arrival on this island, I had naively hoped for your surrender. That did not happen. And you are now trapped, empty-handed in this nightmare. A sad outcome for being stubborn. You are in a world that some might describe as illusory, but in fact everything you will live is real. The Black Frog has that power. You are now at the mercy of the Black Frog, and the areas that you cross will be somehow a reflection of your soul, and especially mine, which is much darker than you think. Garrett, will you survive? Can you face yourself through the mirror without faltering or getting lost? Now that you've crossed to the other side, it is up to you. Emily. Damn, I must get out of here. Yeah. I mean, better not to get in here. What do you mean empty-handed? I've got all my stuff still. I don't suppose the map now is doing me any good, though. Skeleton coming out of the mouth of the face. No, it's not creepy. What 
the hell? Oh. There's a note there that wasn't there a second ago. Garrett, listen to me. I am Keeper Gerald. It's the moment your body is lying on the ground, unconscious in this mirror room. I am near you and I am talking to you. I hope that somehow you're aware of what I'm saying. I can almost see you in this vile world. I see you with your eyes. Don't try to understand how I can do that. I'm only here to help you. What I know in the world in which this glyph traps victims. You only hope to get out to find a way or maybe some clues that allow you to progress this in this world. Maybe there are items or some things you do. Go to the room where you awakened. That location is the starting point. Here I can't continue to help you. Please trust me. I beg you. I'll be your guide. This black frog gets his power from memories. From the imaginations of its victims. Oh, okay. Go back to the room where I awakened, I think he was trying to say. It's certainly interesting that uh Oh well, I mean Right, I can't just go back, I have to go around. Find the other door, find a way to open the grate. Great. Good news. Excellent. Well, that opens. Okay. That looks like it should open. Can't see anything that would that would do it. Barred window. Hey, hello. What have we got here? <laughs> it's a thing there. Can't stand on this properly. What does that say? Garrett, accept this present from me. It could be useful, who knows? Do not deem this a gesture of friendship. I just want the game to last a bit longer. Emily. Oops, wrong button. What is that I'm seeing? Oh, that's a uh, thing there. Am I not supposed to have my equipment? Because that's just one extra red arrow. I can try this. Try backstab on this, right? <laughs> not, uh, not so bad. Well, that didn't open. Alright, well, uh, I still have some fruit, don't I? Let's take one. Well, I mean, the quick way back, now I know I have all these moss arrows. The slow footsteps are another one of those, another one of those skeletons. What's that room? Oh, 
Oh, you're going all over the shop, aren't you? Guess I need to be very careful of you. Jumping when you should be mantling. Oh, it does not seem to be coming this way. I think it heard me, but I don't think it uh, was suspicious enough of the sound. Oh, this is the kitchen. We are in the same house. This is the window that's climbing in from the yard. And that's that's the yard outside where the dog was patrolling. Down. Okay, and it's going upstairs. Right, it's a mirror version of the house. A lot spookier than the mirror version of the Emily Victor house, though, isn't that? And this is a dead end as well? Well, booty though. <laughs> In which case, the map I have may be of use after all. Alright, so I think he's going up to the other end of the stairway and back down this one. I'll wait till he comes down here and then uh, go up the stairs after him. So, where did I wake up? I guess we came out of the dining room area? But we must have come from passages. Yeah, we came through passages, right? That... Well, I guess it's the mirror room. The mirror room, the same place. Oh, I wrote mirror room key there, and then forgot to look up, check my notes on my map. You're making different noises now. Okay, that's not leading anywhere. Oh, somebody tried to murder Karis. Just the... Mirror version of the bedroom where we started. Ow. Search your memory, Garrett. Look around you. Your most vivid memories. Garrett, I feel violence in your life. You must use a strong symbol of your past, your memories, to find a way to escape this apple. I see pictures. Constantine. Mutilation. Find your object. Remember that past. Use it. That is the solution. About Emily Victor, that would be more difficult. You find an essential element which connects to her emotional past and also represents her in this world. You can reach her. If you destroy this object, this link, she will lose control over this world for a short moment. And then you, maybe you can escape them. This world, for one part, is a reflection of your life. It contains things from your memories, your traumas, as well as Lady Victor's. You will need to use them. Be careful, Lady Victor controls this universe, and she is watching you. The eye, huh? It's definitely pertinent to my memories. Yeah, this is like a Constantine room. Including the giggles. <laughs> it's 
What's that down there? Oh, dolls. That's 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 her doll. I mean, can I get down safely? There's a ledge. It's not as wide as the ledge was. It feels like I could cheese it, which maybe I shouldn't. Oh, I never looked up when I was down there. Okay, so I could have just come up. Ripped up here. I do want to go down in the yard. I also don't know if I have a way back from there. There's the lava that we need to get the thing into, right? Look at all the dewdrops. I mean, does that thing... That thing patrol the yard as well. Or am I just hearing it down there? Alright, let's do some more looking around, I think. Right. Right, so I came up this way, right. if these guys see me I feel like it would probably suddenly start going very quickly I think oh he definitely comes up here Emily and the Black Frog at once. It's a nice, nice effect there. So I'm going to need something to put there. Oh, well, that's just above the. I could have. Well, maybe I can't rip that. What is that? Mm. Hanging mass of something. I probably should. Don't want to know. That's metal, I do not want that. Is that a skeleton friend coming this way? Oh. Is that green shirt? green shirt to me. Well, maybe I don't kill the real green shirt, but I can... I'm hearing some noises. I can kill the fake green shirt. Okay, we've got another fruit. Alright. Just wondering if that was like... The noise that spooks people. Maybe it's just coincidence. Yeah, 
Locked gate. Armory. We actually, I was expecting maybe we'd just find like arms in here. Now we got small repairs and moss. Oh, that thing, I think it saw me, it's coming to search. We could really be in trouble here. Be very careful when it's nearby, it's got very good eyesight. I don't suppose we can open this door. Oh, well, maybe I do go out into the yard. You know, we've got all these rope arrows. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get up that. That's a that's a down only. Just thinking maybe give myself some uh, some ways up and down easily, escape routes and stuff. I've got four more. Put one in the other room as well. Oh wait, this room didn't have a. Oh, which room? Which was the other room which had a hole downwards? Oh, I don't remember. This way. Oh, that was a room with a strange mass. Well, that doesn't look like wooden beams. What was it here? No. That sure isn't going to accept rope. Not sure what the range of hearing is like. I'm just being a little cautious. Don't want to die suddenly to that thing. This wasn't the way down. Close. Oh, is this the way? This is the way I came up. Is it? No. It's just the other stairs. the main hall stairs, right? Well, we still have darkness here in the main hall, that's good news. I mean, is that wood? It doesn't look like wood at all, it looks like metal. There's not very good darkness here in this room. Oh, he does use those stairs, okay.
Don't know whether it would have seen me or would have seen me or what, but Let's try and stay out of trouble for a bit. Didn't actually seem to react to the flash bang, the flash bomb, so I think I just got lucky and it didn't see me. But it's still there patrolling. How many of these do I have? Eight. I definitely need to use them strategically then. Just drop down into the garden. See what we find here. I'm a little concerned though with the complete lack of uh, safe balling and my rather low quantity of um, hit points. <coughs> Last fruit. Oh, I got a healing potion, I suppose. Your doll. Am I supposed to destroy it or what? No. Use something with it? Right, find an essential element next to an emotional pass represents her, then destroy this object. But how do I destroy it? I can't pick it up. I guess I can go this way. Something to just to use on it. Smother it with acid. You things. Maybe just leave them alone, but they do rather creep me out. Because that's the tunnel door, right? That I could never open in the real world. Oh, that's the same face as by the doll. Well, as the doll, indeed. Also, as by the doll. So that's got to be meaningful. It's a library up there, I think. So this is this is the sitting room. Okay. What am I trying to get to there? Look at this bloody loud floor. This is a little room where that lady was sitting watching all the time. I 
to pick up friend patrols along this passage, doesn't they? Yep. Ah, okay, this room. Wait, I've already been in this room. Although I guess not everywhere. More fruit. I think it's upstairs right now. So, where am I going then? So, hang on. Oh, have I been here? No, there's are more Constantine rooms. Well, half Constantine, well, I mean... I guess this place is a mix of my memories of Constantine's mansion and Emily's memories of this Black Frog Castle, as they call it. Almost. Lovely. Ah. It's an eye. What am I supposed to do about it? And the face with a sword stabbed, stabbed into his eye. Maybe that's just meant to me. Me wishing I had my own eye back. Or oh, Garrett, I suppose. It's not, not technically me. Nothing here. What hast thou built, Garrett? When the time comes to review thy life with the master builder for thee, and the question is asked, what hast thou built? What will thee say, poor Garrett? For thou art a man of destruction, not Construction. Tis the biggest sin of all. Build thyself today a good house. That would please him much. Well, I mean, I did just half build this one out of my imagination, right? Surely that counts for something, eh, builder? Besides, you see the biggest sin of all, but have you considered the sin of pride? It's Garrett Shaw, yeah, it's that one in spades. Keepers. <laughs> Flash bomb. Moss. 
A healing potion. I've got a very short crop distance so that you can't problem through the door, I guess. Apparently, alright. Well, you know, I'm going to leave that open because that might be a useful place to run and escape to if things get too hairy a bit. Don't think a noisy friend comes up here. I haven't heard any sign of him for a while. Wow, lots of dead mechanists and hammerites. Well, maybe our friend does come up here. No? Ah, oh, we heard them, heard them through here, right, because it's wandering through down there. Ah. Angry horns, huh? It's only my memory of an angry horns, but maybe my memory of an angry horns is still problematic. Suddenly gone quiet, that's even more suspicious. So what did that actually do? Did it change anything down there that I can see? Oh, stop giggling at me. I guess we wander back and find out if it did anything visible. Hearing him downstairs again. <laughs> ah, I see. I guess we stab the eye and take my eye. Yeah. Would you stop flash bombing me? This element is an integral part of your identity and your life experience. It will be a useful tool for you to get out of this world. This world reacts to the symbols and the eye is yours. Use it! Okay, so maybe we use that down with the doll. Oh, we've no, we can use that in the black frog room. Looking at real white and needing something circular, right? Black frog room was upstairs. To the left up here, I think. Yes. It feels like that's a trap door that's going to open. No, we don't use that there. Okay, where do I use my eye? I mean...
mean, I know it comes up there. I'm just waiting to see. Because it moves so fast, it's easy for it to take me by surprise. So a little patience. Let's stay well out of sight. Been in there. So I go downstairs again and try and find the door out to the garden. Which was from the north side of this right. I didn't actually notice this was the uh, scarecrow doll maybe missing an eye. Doesn't look like it is. That would have been super creepy. It does work with it. Okay. Oh. It's a somewhat ordinary looking room. Isn't that more suspicious? Oh, this is Emily Victor's apartments. Right, and that's the way to the mirror room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in the same place as well. Ah. Sword stamped into a portrait. That's... Not symbolic of anything at all, is it? Hello? <sighs> I cannot see these noisy frogs. So I was uh, going to comment before I was a little disappointed that the recording of Karis wasn't filtered at all to sound like, you know, more echoey or something, but... These ones have had sound treatment, so... Are they invisible? Am I just hiding for nothing? Oh no, they're all down here. I mean, maybe... Oh. We can't get back out the same way. Oh, they still explode. Well, they didn't explode on me. Oh! oh they still hurt me, I suppose. Aha. That's what I needed to see. I couldn't notice it in the dark when I was looking at the frogs. Oh, the portrait is still there. Do I use my eye with it? Oh, that's uh. Seriously damaged the portrait, okay. I think Emily didn't like that. <laughs> and we can go back out of here. I wonder if that would have just cleared up the frogs for me. <laughs> Who knows? Gerard! I was gonna call you Gareth, but that's not your name. 
The door is the key. You open simple doors that were until now locked. They're related to this toy. Find them, and you can access the object associated to Emily's memories. Search for more items linked to the doll and find a way to destroy them. To destroy, find the location. It is possible. Few magical things can resist high heat lava. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just creep slowly on here. Where was the other doll that I saw? It's out along this way, wasn't it? So I think I saw that one in the snow, and then I came out this way and saw another one. It was here. Right, so this way is now open. Medusa face that what Emily looks like in the mirror when she's having a bad hair day. Or imagines that she looks like, I suppose. Hey, man. You scared the fuck out of me. I saw the particle trail and I thought, oh, that's an interesting effect vanishing there. Now there's a thing that's moving around at high speed with bleeding particles behind it. Oh, I see. It's like one of those drone bots, except evil and magical. How do I have memory of these tunnels? I'm never, I mean, I guess Emily does. I've never been them. Do I just dodge these, or...? Let's try it. <coughs> mm. Maybe I just dodged them actually. Oh, we have a new objective escape from the Black Rock world. I didn't see that. Okay, well. This seems to make any sound. And there seem to have eyes in the back of her head as well. But I mean, maybe they can't actually see very well. But no sound is a nuisance, because that means I've just got to wait, wait for them to get by and try and find a gap. I don't know how many there are, and not really what the patrols are, I think. <laughs> This is no good. Can't get there yet. This thing get on top. Doesn't really look like it could. It's a noise maker, that's not a rip arrow guy. Okay. That's not wood on top, though. It doesn't look like wood on the edge. Oh, there's a ladder. <sighs> Oof. Okay, let's throw some moss down here. What's the point of coming up here? <laughs> and climb the pipes. Is that a door? Oh, 
Oh, it's a switch. Oh, they're searching for me. Okay, I need to wait until they move on again, I guess. It's not going to be safe down there otherwise. <sighs> Silent enemies. Very difficult for Thief gameplay. Especially if you're trying to say, well, are these things still searching for me or not? And you can't hear them. I can't really stand where I can actually get a good view of them. Now I guess I just sit and wait. I'll hit this other switch. In just a minute. Back in any second now. I mean, they're not completely silent, like the drones, I suppose. Do I want to drop down there? I don't think so. Oh, Emily's doll part one. Okay. We have a headless doll. You know what? I'm going to end the episode here. When we come back, we'll um, look for the head to match this body. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you then.